Hi, I'm Sanjay Kumaran, Doctor of Audiology and Clinical Director at the Ear Company. Welcome back to All About Hearing, our segment that talks about hearing, hearing loss, but also one of the other things that audiologists deal with, which is dizziness, and that's our topic today. Audiologists who you would think deal with hearing loss, you know, hearing aids, hearing pathology, were also specialized in, in, in knowledge uh, around dizziness and the assessment of dizziness. Um, I used to work in a clinic that specifically saw only what we called our dizzy patients. Dizziness can be a really debilitating thing. And you know, we, we have names for it. We can, we've heard names like, oh, I've got vertigo, I've got uh, labyrinthitis, I've got um, so, many, so, many, so many things that could be dizziness um, that sound the same but are not. When you have a problem with dizziness, you really need to understand where it's coming from. And having assessment that helps you understand that is very, very important. There are different kinds of dizziness and different causes of dizziness. You know, oftentimes when someone has an episode of dizziness where they're just spinning, they think they're having a stroke, which they might be in some cases, or they, you know, something, or they might think they have a tumor, which again could be, but it also may not be. Um, much like motion sickness, when you get dizzy, you, you know, you can get nauseous as well. There are forms of dizziness that might occur uh, from banging your head. For, that's a, a dizziness that we call BPPV, where there's little particles that break loose inside the balance mechanism. Um, and when you're dizzy from that kind of dizziness, it's based upon a certain movement that causes dizziness that usually lasts under a minute. But then there's that, that dizziness that we would often call our vertigo, where you know, we have an episode of just spinning and nausea, and it doesn't go for a longer period of time. When someone is having problems with dizziness, again, the best thing to do is come in and have an assessment that helps you know which direction to go in. I mean, your doctor may very well consider that it's severe enough that they want to send you to an ear, nose, and throat specialist who specializes in that area as well. Um, in Ontario, we have a, a center that specializes in dizziness that I send my worst patients to. It's, it's a horrible thing when you are dizzy because you can't escape it, but understanding it is one of the best things you can do. So see your audiologist and gain some information about your specific form of dizziness. All About Hearing is brought to you by The Ear Company on Lansdowne Street. The Ear Company, your best choice for better hearing.